We're gonna start with our produce. So I got a bunch of gala apples. These are Kevin's favorite. For me, I don't really care whether they're red delicious or gala or whatever. I don't eat a lot of raw apples. I tell you guys this a lot. <laughs> I have a thing with fruit that isn't frozen. I either, it either makes me feel allergic, like the inside of my ears itch. I know that's super weird. Does that happen to you guys? Anyway, I either get that or I just don't care for the taste. So I prefer frozen fruit, but I do have a recipe I want to do for fall with apples. And what I'll probably do is cook them a bit and that seems to fix the problem. So if you guys know anything, let me know. I'd love to hear. So we have that. Then I also got some baby arugula. I love that. I like to do just a really simple salad dressing with some olive oil and lemon juice. Whip that up with some Parmesan. And that is a delicious salad. Then I also got some red onion. I put that on my salad as well. I got two heads of iceberg lettuce. I know it doesn't have a ton of nutritional value, but I love iceberg lettuce from my salads. And then I also got this big spaghetti squash. So I've been craving pasta a lot lately, way more so than I should. So I'm gonna pull my pasta back just a bit more, my pasta and rice, and try to get that done with spaghetti squash, which I really love spaghetti squash, so. Okay, now over to the counter. We have some Velveeta. I use that all the time for recipes. I love broccoli and cheese. Broccoli rice and cheese is really good too. I got some sugar-free orange marmalade for a couple recipes I'm gonna be doing. I got some Rayo's marinara. This is my very favorite cheater sauce. If I'm not making it myself, this is my favorite one. It's super low in points. It tastes really good. I don't have to doctor it up. And it is $5.99 this week at Publix. So that is a bargain. You know what, though? The best bargain for that Rayos is Costco. They usually have them like two for $9. That's a good deal, too. Anyway, I also got some of these Caramel Rice Krispies. I like these, they're really good. I tend to not overeat them. So when I'm in the mood for kind of a little treat type deal, I love these. I got some more eggs, of course. I go through tons of eggs. I got La Banderita low carb wraps. I go through a ton of these. I couldn't find the mission balance. So when I can't find that, I go with this. They're both really, really good. Now I hit the jackpot on diet ice cream. So Kevin loves this. The keto is a little bit higher. So if you want to know the difference, the one that says keto is going to be a little bit higher in points than the one that says light. See, it says light right here. But I got both of them. They were buy one, get one free at Publix this week. And that is a really, really good deal. So you pay $5.99 for one and get the second free. That is a good deal for this ice cream. So I got mint chocolate chip, caramel chocolate, double dough, <laughs> and brownies and cookie delight. I'll eat these too. I like them. The key to these for all of you who say you don't like Enlightened or you don't like Halo Top or any of those, you really seriously have to start dinner, take one of these, set it out on your counter, and leave it out until after dinner, and then it really will be like soft serve. I promise. If you don't like the texture or the consistency, I totally agree with you. I completely understand but if you let it sit out, it'll, it works. Try that and then let me know if that works for you. Okay, I also got some reduced calorie crescent rolls for a recipe and I got some pizza crust, the thin crust for a recipe as well. I got some more frozen fruit just to eat with whipped cream or also I use this in my protein shakes. I got a gigantic thing of Cool Whip Light because 
I use that all the time. I got a bag of tortilla chips. These are for Kevin. I can't do these. If I have one, forget it, say goodbye to the bag. So I can't do those. And then lately, I have been choosing to eat regular bread instead of the low point, low calorie bread, just because I'm missing it and I love it. And I can eat bread in moderation. I'm not going to eat the whole loaf. Now, if I had a stick of butter, I would do that. But that's why I don't keep butter in the house, real butter. So, you know, you have to trick yourself on some of this stuff. So that is the grocery haul for this week. I got up early this morning to go do this, and the store was stocked up, so I did pretty good. <laughs>